Hey, what's up guys? Dylan here from Iceberg TV, checking in with another episode of Weird Stuff Wednesday, where I review illegal, obscure, or discontinued molds. Today, I actually have what I consider to be a really great feeling mold. I've got the Latitude 64 core here. I've got one in the gold line plastic. Feels very similar to the Claymore. Then I've got one which has a little bit more dome on it. So the gold line's definitely a little more flat. The Opto's a little bit more domey. We're here at Reedy Creek. Gonna play nine holes, hole two. Let's give this thing a whirl. Oh, that is so straight. It was a bit of a yank job. I'm gonna go with the, hi the uh, hyzer line this time. Never go hyzer on this hole. Let's see. Oh, that's awesome. It's gonna be absolutely parked. That thing absolutely goes. And certainly worth noting that the core actually feels extremely similar to the Claymore. Man, these discs are very similar across the board. I think the core might be slightly more blunt, but I would not be surprised if the Claymore was just a rebranded core, um, as just because the molds feel so similar in hand and they look so similar on the side profile. I do kind of think that this is just a rebranded version of this, these came out in 2008 and then were discontinued after a couple of years. Then the Claymore is this disc in this slot that is currently in production. Just right out of the box. I hit that last tree and kicked hard left, but I am loving just that slow drag, but with a nice fade at the end. Oh, these are really nice. So far, these cores are really nice flyers. This is a disc that definitely has like an old cult following of people that really love to throw them. And whenever I see one of these posted on Facebook and any of the collector's pages or for sale pages, people always buy these up, especially if they're in good condition. These two are pretty much new with no ink. So when I saw them, it was a must grab. Especially because I just aced with it. Go. Oh, just dead centered the band. Unbelievable. Oh, I can't believe it just dead centered the band. Unbelievable. Oh, the last tree is fading back left to absolute perfection. I'm super happy with the flights I'm getting out of both of the cores right now. It's like it holds the turn for a really long time as long as you put it on the right angle. I'm sure on a hyzer it's obviously going to stay on hyzer because it is a pretty stable disc. Um, it's not overstable, so it's not going to just swing hard left right away. Um, what it's going to do is hang on to the line you put it on until it starts to lose speed and it's going to have a nice dependable fade at the end. Um, which I think is very similar to the flight of, like I said before, brand new Buzz Assess. Hole six is the perfect test for the core. You want something that's going to hold straight through most of the flight, but then kind of dump right at the end, which is exactly what the core does as long as I throw it nice and flat. Oh, that's such a sick flight, man. Nothing inspires me to get good at disc golf more than seeing like a nicely thrown, like straight mid. It's just such a pretty looking line. I just love that. Man, they're holding that turn a little longer than I expected them to. It's like, I think the flight numbers are supposed to be like six, five minus one, one. My theory as to why these were discontinued is they were sold and marketed as a six speed, um, but holding that disc in your hand, it's definitely somewhere between a four and a five. Um, it's definitely just like a five at most. It feels pretty much like any other five speed. Feels very similar again, buzz, buzz assess, right in that range. Um, it definitely doesn't feel nearly as beveled as something like a leopard or any other six speed like a resistor. Um, those are a lot more pointy and that bevel's a lot more aggressive. These definitely do not have that feel in hand. Really just feels like, like Meteor, Buzz Assess, 
not quite a Mako, but definitely right in that five speed range. So I'm thinking because they marketed it as a six, when really it should have been a five, maybe they just kind of scrapped it for that reason because maybe people were just unhappy that it didn't feel like a normal six speed. And there's a few other Latitude 64 molds, um, particularly in the gold line plastic that I have my eye out for. But getting the core into the collection, um, that was one of the molds I've been looking for for a long time. All right, this gold line one seems to be a touch more understable. Let's just hit it flat, let her go straight. Come on. Oh, that was absolutely perfect. It's probably my best backhand ever on this hole. That's probably my second best. Go in. Oh, dude, this disc is so good. It's like stable, but still really, really easy to just keep it going absolutely dead straight, which is very rare to have something stable and torque resistant. It just holds on to that flat shot for so much longer than most other mid ranges that are equally as stable and torque resistant. Last hole of the day, hole nine. Nice little juicy turnover. Just need to hit this line, touch of Anheuser, and it should hold the line all the way to the pin. Yep. Man, that wound up fading out going a touch long, but I'm absolutely adoring how these fly. They've released them like a one-off run a handful of times, um, but I think they're still overall out of production. But I have to imagine when they re-release these, um, they'll do like a one-off run in a special plastic. I have to imagine they sell it right away. This disc is freaking awesome. All right, last shot of the day. Go in. Oh, got a little skinny, but not terrible. Well, all right, guys, that is the Latitude 64 core in the gold line and the optoplastic. Probably one of my favorite discs I've thrown in a long time. I just love how it's straight and stable simultaneously, which is something you don't see super often. Really amazing flyer and something that I think will suit nicely right alongside my Detour. Just a hair more stable than the Detour, I think. I've been looking for a, like a workhorse mid, and I think that's going to be it. Something just a touch more stable than the Detour that I can throw on a bunch of different lines that I can really count on. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.